to my channel. This is Yes We Homeschool and today I am doing one of my favorite things to look for on YouTube channels, um, homeschool specific YouTube channels and it is when homeschool moms share their homeschool curriculums for the new year their homeschool curriculum picks for the new year. So I am here to share with you 2021, 2022, right? Yeah. Um, curriculum picks for a rising third grader. So let's get started. This is going to be a brand new uh, curriculum that we've chosen. Um, I'm really excited it's about it. It's called Lightning Literature. Okay. So what it is, is learning um, grammar and language arts through literature. So this is grade three. This is the student workbook. It comes with a teacher guide and then it comes with these amazing books. So the first book that she'll be reading is Sarah Plain and Tall. What I appreciate about it is in the teacher guide, it tells me, it guides me on what questions to ask her. So I don't know if you can read it there but it'll say read chapter one of sarah plain and tall and then here are the questions that i would ask her and it has the answers they are provided um for me so that i don't have to worry about um, having to read the book myself um, i try to glimpse through it so i have an idea um but in the event i can't this will tell me if she's understood. I have Sarah Plain and Tall. We have The Tale of Despero. Beautiful books. We have The Big Wave. We have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by one of her favorite authors. Uh, Beverly Clearly, Ramona and Her Father. <laughs> Charlotte's Web, um, The Wheel on the School. So this one turns out they don't print this anymore, but I found it used. Um, and actually the packet did say that um, you can easily find it used. So I guess a lot of people have the book and they're selling it. Uh, Rickshaw Girl. I'm excited to read this one. And The Random House, a book of poetry for children. So it's 572 poems. So she, by the end of third grade, she will have read all of these beautiful books. Oops. And all the while learning um, about composition and grammar. That seems like a win-win to me. Um, so the teacher's guide is all black and white, but the children's book is a lot of color and it, again it seems very user-friendly the first book she's going to read is sarah plain and tall and it's going to tell her what she's going to do on day one and day two and of course the teacher companion is set up the same way. It'll say day one, and it'll tell you what to say, um, what to read to her, what you're looking for. The fifth day is a free day. Math, we are sticking to master books. We're doing a lot of math. Everything else is master books, I think, yeah. Um, we are sticking to master books for math. She's enjoyed it, and I got math level three, and I've already started this because, um, She's just ready to go on to grade three. And so I decided to start uh, working with her. We're on lesson two. Yeah, we're on lesson two, week two already. Okay, so Master Books is a living education uh, approach. Um, so 
little traditional in the sense where it tells you what you need to do what days and i'll show you um so it'll say week four split up the days and say what you need to do but the actual lessons um they're very short it's a gentle approach but it's efficient um i thought this last time around that maybe it wasn't but i'm realizing that she knows a lot she understands a lot and so i'm not going to change it for social studies history we're going to learn about the 50 states look how cool look at all these books i'm taking out it is so again this passports to america is actually for grades fourth through six and my daughter's in third so it all depends um, on your child uh, my daughter um, can definitely handle something that's meant for fourth grade i also looked at it before and realized she can handle this um just because it all depends on your child so this is what it's called elementary u.s geography and social studies we're going to be doing this for two years for third and fourth grade because i will be um doing it only twice a week so it will lead us into fourth grade and similar to how master books has always been it tells us um, what to do on what days i hope that's not getting blurry Okay. Oh, this is cute. It comes with a passport. <laughs> so every time they learn with, about a state, they get to put a little sticker inside. And I'll show you those in a second. I don't think. They're here, they are. So these are the stickers to all the states. So when she learns them, she puts them in with the passport. Okay. Um, the books are gorgeous. I'm so impressed. It's in beautiful hardcover. Okay, it's the front. The spine. The back. And when you open it up, let's pick Georgia. Yep, it provides you with all the information, fun facts about Georgia. And it takes this, Master Books takes the guesswork out of everything when it comes to planning. Because all I have to do is open up my teacher guide and it will tell me what book I have to read on what day. Um, so I'll show you again. Let's see, it says week two. So let's say it's day 91. It says, read about Montana, pages 56 through 57 in the CA book, which is this one. Look how beautiful this is. Children Atlas of the USA. Front, hardcover, spine, and the back. So I'll go to week, what was I on? Montana, right? So it tells me, read about Montana on pages 56 to 57. I would simply open up the book and her and I would explore these pages together. Okay. And that would be it for, see how gentle of an approach Master Books is? That would be it for day one. We would only read about it, probably talk about it. Well, we would. Because I'm sure that's what it is. That's what Master Books encourages. It's a lot of conversation with your child. Uh, then the next day it says, Read about Montana, page 58 through 59 in the passport book. So we would go through there. Then on the third day it says, Complete the Montana worksheet, which is in, it says TG, Teacher's Guide. So I would simply open this up. It's on pages 99 to 100. And there it is, a word search, the flag, some did you know, and 
that would complete Montana. And then it goes on to Nebraska. So that's it. Very simple. Um, I suspect maybe I may even finish sooner, but if not, uh, that's the plan. So that is social studies. What's next? Science is, again, master books. It's a fourth through sixth grade um, elementary zoology program, but I read through it and I know Leslie can handle it. Um, it's a very gentle approach and I think that's what helps. Same setup, it's gonna tell me what to do every single day. It's gonna direct me to what book I need to open, to what pages I need to read or discuss with her and any worksheet um, she needs to do is all in the teacher guide. And I just ripped them out. I could create a binder for her or a folder and she'll uh, be able to, to do that. Let me show you the books, they're gorgeous. Look at this one. God's Big Book of Animals. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the pictures, the graphics. It's like, what kid's not going to be interested in this? You know, and it's just you and your kid, you know, or maybe just a few others. It's awesome. Alligators, her favorite. <laughs> she did an alligator study. Um, she did an alligator study this year, actually. That's what started, prompted her, like, obsession. Not obsession, but her interest in, um, in animals and zoology. Let me see if I have it here, actually. Is this it? Yeah, alligators. This is my handy-dandy bookshelf. So, alligators. And then we did... A whole bunch of stuff on it. So there's a short but in-depth um, study on it. So proud of her. <laughs> the life cycle, the differences. She did this little life cycle project. It's supposed to sit like in a circle and you turn it around and it says all the cycles on it. So this is when she said, I want to learn more and more about all these different kinds of animals. I saw the zoology. I thought, oh, this is meant for fourth or sixth grade. I don't know if I could be able to do that. Um, but she was able to handle She is going to be able to handle it fine. Um, here's other books, God's Amazing Creatures and Me. They're devotions for boys and girls ages six to ten. And again, the teacher guide is going to tell me when to use this. How many animals were in the ark? two field trips there's going to be one to the aquarium and one to the zoo this book provides you with everything you need to prepare yourself for your field trip you and your kid so if you notice the tabs it'll say before the aquarium at the aquarium then it goes into details on different kinds of animals at the aquarium, birds, fish, invertebrates, mammals, reptiles. Then it says after the aquarium, and then in the appendix it has some um, supplemental work. But it's great. Before the aquarium, you read these things together, okay? And it tells you things to look up to just to prepare your trip, okay? Then it'll say, Things to look at at the aquarium. You can look at it beforehand and kind of figure out what you want to touch on, but it just sets it up so nicely. You can even take it with you and just kind of read out loud. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Look at that. And then you it has Velcro, you open it. it, has bingo cards you can play. Um, fact sheets on all different types of animals and then it has more information cards like on the ocean zone all of this is in this one binder guys Isn't that awesome that's why it's called the complete aquarium adventure <laughs> a field trip in a book so i need to look at my calendar and make sure that I pick good times for that. And 
Um, the same thing for the zoo, the complete zoo adventure, a field trip in a book, split up the same way. It has um, before the zoo, at the zoo, then birds, paws and claws, hooves, reptiles, amphibians, after the zoo, so activities that you do after the zoo, okay? And of course the appendix with extra things. And the same concept here, it has this little pouch. You open it up and it has um, games. It has information cards, more information cards. And then this little one. Oh yes, these, they come hole punched and you can hang them on a string. And as you learn about them, you collect them and hang them in your schoolroom or in your kids' room, wherever you homeschool. Or wherever you don't homeschool and you want to hang it. And you let they want to see it on your fridge. You can do whatever you'd like. That's the beauty of homeschool. So that was all of the zoology. Isn't that beautiful? So excited. And last, but certainly not least, it is um, our Bible. Okay, well, this isn't the Bible, but uh, to teach her about the Bible, again, I'm using master books. It's level one, more than words. After going through it, I think she would be more than capable of handling level two. But because I had not done level one and I kind of wanted her to start from the beginning, um, I said, it's fine. She's still going to uh, learn great concepts, practice her writing. Um, and there's things I could do to um, kind of extend the lesson more for her age. And I also have to remind myself that even though she is already eight, she is also only eight and uh, she still likes to color and to cut. And the book is called uh, More Than Words Level One. It's divided into four units, who God is and some of the attributes of God who we are in God and the basic theology, what it means to be a Christian and how to walk in faith day to day. So it's written for first through third grade. A glimpse, writing, coloring, word searches. There's probably uh, some projects we could do here, recipes we could make. Master Books is, is great with that living education, just um, everything you learn, applying it to real life, you see that in there, and all their and all their subjects, in English and math, um, their science, um, and everything. So that won't be the exception to Bible. So there you have it, guys. That is my 2021-2022 third grade curriculum, and I'm so excited to pick one or two to go more in depth. Um, once have kind of started using it with her, especially that lighting literature. All right, coming soon will be my son's 2021-2022 curriculum. He's a rising eighth grader. Um, so I will be showing you um, a haul on that soon too. Bye.